Prince Harry was a prisoner in Kensington Palace, shock claim. Prince Harry lived as a prisoner in Kensington Palace for months before meeting Meghan Markle and finding his life companion, a friend of the Duke of Sussex claimed. Prince Harry increasingly suffered loneliness and often remained holed up at home during the months before his first blind date with Meghan, an unnamed source said. Reflecting on the Duke's life as a single before Meghan's arrival, one of the Prince's close friends told royal biographer Duncan Larcombe, author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story, Harry is very much a people person and hates spending time in his own company. But with young Prince and Princess to look after, more and more of William and Kate's time was dominated by family life. There were times when Harry would have to spend hour after hour holed up in his cottage alone. It was not as though he could just pop out for a beer after work like a normal person. In many ways he was becoming a prisoner in his own home and would spend hours watching TV alone. Harry himself had previously described how being constantly under the spotlight would seriously prevent him from living a normal life. Citing Prince Harry, Mr. Larkham wrote, When people finish work in the city or wherever work is, if you want to have a bit of downtime, you might go to the pub with your mates. I do that less, because it's not downtime for me. I don't know who I'm going to bump into, I don't know if someone's going to try and grab a selfie. So there is very little private life. Prince Harry broke up with Cressida Benes in 2014 and remained single for two years, during which he focused on his projects and tagged along Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, to carry out engagements and work on their mental health charity, Heads Together. Mr. Larcombe said Harry's public outings with William and Kate only highlighted there was something missing in his life. He wrote, the missing link in Harry's life was on display nearly every time he left his cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace. With their young children needing space, William and Kate had moved to a much larger apartment at KP, leaving Harry to leave the bachelor life alone. When the Range Rovers dropped the three of them back at the palace, Harry would return to an empty home. Even if he was buzzing from performing in front of the adoring crowds, this development in his personal circumstances simply underlined the void in his life. This overpowering image of Prince Harry in Kensington Palace mirrors Princess Diana's opinion of her royal residence, according to another royal biographer, Andrew Morton. Speaking in the documentary Harry and Meghan, a very modern romance, Mr. Morton said, Kensington Palace, yes, it's a village but it can also seem like a prison. Diana felt like it was an open prison.